Hello mga artsy! This is Mrs. B and welcome to Uma Arting Penmanship. In this video, I will talk about the Mumio Professional 48 watercolor pen set that I bought recently. As you can see, I'm making a rose using it. If you want to know more, please stand by and finish this video as I unbox, swatch, and show you sample paintings. Let's start! So this is the package that I bought from Shopee for the Mongyo 48 colors. I bought this last July 24 and arrived August 2. So it's, that is actually quicker than I expect. And it shows here a logo fragile, right? Just to make sure that it won't be broken. Okay. So let's open the package now and let's see. Okay, by the way, the for the seller's information, I will put that on the description box. I can just find just one seller in Shopee for this Mungyo for Mungyo watercolors. Okay. This Kudos for the seller, by the way, because he is very accommodating. He answers my question. He gave, he gave me expectations when I'm going to receive the package. Okay, wow. It's double wrap. Just to make sure that I won't receive it broken. Okay. Good double wrap. Okay. Let's open this. Okay, so here it is open. All right, I already removed the double bubble wrap. All right, so it says here that it's professional watercolor and it has oh, it shows your passion for masterpieces. These professional watercolors have vivid color intense. City. Okay, brilliant and transparent colors with superior dilution and superb light flashness. Okay, so this is 48 colors. They have 12. They have um, 24 colors, but I bought the 48 colors one. Okay, a preview of the colors that they have. Okay, it looks like they have um, five greens here. Okay, that's really good because I also do florals and some reds. Okay, and of course here we have here the information about the company there. Okay, so it's pan set. Let's start opening this. Okay. It's pretty heavy. Alright, okay, so this is the back. It has this ring, so it will be easy for holding it. Okay, it's a clean can. Oh, right. So there it is. Okay, so we have here this cover and this lid pin here, so you don't have to have your mixing palette. At anymore because you can actually mix here and here as well okay so here are the colors that we have it is okay these these are actually half pans okay so let's get one here let's okay but it's wrapped okay, let's try this one this olive green okay so this is a close-up for the olive green 838 is a color code at the back it has the company name and the color code as well it also says here made in Korea and translation for two other languages as well okay olive green here and here it shows here some, 
some information like series A three stars okay so I will open this and I will get back to you later once I already opened these and we're going to swatch and review this all right okay so before we start swatching let me just wet these watercolor sets here I will be using um, flat brush and we will talk more about these more of the colors here okay so I already removed the paper labels and plastic labels as well I actually opened this box and I placed it all here okay Okay, so I'm done putting all the water, um, wetting all the watercolors here. Let it let us sit it first, and let's talk about these labels. So I arrange it um, the way it is. Okay, so it is the same like from cup. This is the copper. Okay, they included the gold, the silver here. They have two whites. They have actually very good variety of colors. And looking into these labels, it shows that it has AP logos. Okay, the, here it means that these it means that these watercolors are non-toxic. It also shows here at the back of the box. Here the color codes there, but the paper label includes the color names that's why I put it here so in case that I forget it I have a reference to go back to okay so by the way these are half pan set at the back of the box you will see also an actual size of the pan that's very very the same to what you can see here that I mentioned of the actual size that you can see here it also says that it has luminous, luminous color intense color and transparent so let's see and if it's true okay so first start we will be going from left upper left to right Okay, so we will be starting with the copper and gold, silver. They have two whites, by the way. So let's see which white is good. I do not normally use white, but let's see. Okay, so let's start with the copper. Let's get a good amount of water to watercolor to swatch here all right okay there it is let's add more water here all right to lighten okay it's a good color okay and the copper here it it looks uh, metallic and it's really good Okay, so let's go to gold. This is gold. Alright, you can see that these colors are actually opaque. Alright, let's try the silver. Okay, wow. It, I think it would be uh, good to black paper. Yeah, that's what I can see here. Alright, next one we have the pearl white. So let's see the pearl white here. Mm, 
Okay, I do not know if you could actually see it. Yeah, but that's the pearl white. Let's try the white and let's see the comparison of these whites we have here. I think this is more um, vibrant. Yeah, if you can see it here in my brush. Yeah, it's more, it has more pigment than the pearl white. Okay, so let's go to the next one. That's 869 John Brilliant. I think this is a good shade for like complexion if you are painting faces per person yeah it's good okay let's try the next one it is Naples yellow all right there There's a stain in the white there. Okay, there you go. Alright, Naples Yellow. It's a good one. I think it would be good if it would be mixed together. And that could be a good combination. Okay, let's try 844. That's Yellow Ochre. there it is it is really vibrant okay all right next one we have here raw umber okay let's add more water into it all right it's a good color there okay next one we have um, um, French gray it is the only gray here okay so there When I was young, I had the difficulty to distinguish which is silver and which is gray. <laughs> okay. Now, let's move on to indigo. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That, it's really pigmented see that lovely color I like this indigo it's good for night skies okay let's go to black there good okay let's move on to permanent light blue this is the kind of light blue that I like. There you go. Nice. Okay, next one we have here yellow green. So let's get yellow green okay that's really nice yellow green because I used to mix yellow and green with my Shinhan professional watercolors in tubes so 
I did not actually get this kind of yellow green. Okay, next is we have sap green. Okay, let's try sap green here. Okay, this is nice. I like this one because I used to paint flowers and leaves. I like it. All right, so next we have cadmium, cadmium green. So let's try cadmium green. All right. There it is. So it is like the normal green that we used to see. All right. Let's go to the next. Oops. Okay. We just have to be careful. The paint is still wet. Okay. Let's move to the next one. And the next is Hooker's Green. Okay. Alright. So that's the green. Okay. A dark one. Okay. Dark green. I think we I can add more water into it. Let me try to add more water here. Let's see. Okay. So there. It's still dark. <laughs> but this is nice. Okay. But I think I have to be very careful with this color and also indigo because it's very it, it's very pigmented okay so let's go to viridian let's try viridian viridian is one green as well I like the greens okay this is nice yes I so we have like one two three four five sheets of green now Okay, and we still have a lot of colors to go. Okay, so let's move on to Cerulean Blue. Okay, so Cerulean Blue. There. Wow. I think I have to be very careful. I think I could just get um, like <laughs> small amount and that's really good okay by the way um, I I put drops of water into the watercolor set here before I swatch it so that it will absorb so the paint so the paint will absorb the water and it will come out nice but yeah it's really really nice Okay, so next one, yeah, after cerulean blue, we have Prussian blue. Okay, so that's a darker one. Let's see if what happens if we add more water here. Okay, but that's still dark. Okay, it's also good with the night skies if you like painting night skies. All right, next week go to cobalt blue all right cobalt blue okay this is nice blue okay next one we have ultramarine blue Okay, hold on. I think it got the wrong color. Okay, ultramarine blue. And this is it.
Okay. Well, this is nice. Yeah, so let's see if we add more water here. How light it can be. Alright. There. You surprised me with these colors. It's very dark but it's nice color we just have to be careful on the amount of paint that we're going to get okay next we have purple okay okay see the purple there okay it's nice purple it's good for painting flowers I like that Okay, next we have permanent violet. Oops. Okay, there. It's a nice one. Okay, hold on. I just need to clean this. Okay, there. Okay, so let's continue. After the permanent violet, we have here greenish yellow. Right. I think this is tried. Okay, there. Greenish yellow. Oh, that's nice. Another shade of green. Next, we have olive green. Okay. Olive green. I like olive green. Okay, there. Oh, nice green next we have olive brown okay and we have green gray next Green gray. Okay, there. Okay, next one we have another green here. Now try green. Let's see. Okay. Let's try add one more. Okay, it's nice green. Okay, so we have actually lots of green here. So we have options of green. We have another green here, gift but hello green. Okay. So we'll find up later how many actually greens this pan set has. Okay. Next, we have Van Dyke Brown. Okay. That's nice brown. Okay, next one we have here Burnt Umber. There. I like burnt umber okay there all right so let's continue with brown red so this is brown red the good thing about huge watercolor pan set is that you have a lot of selection there it you have a lot of selection and you don't have to you don't you don't have a hard time to mix colors or yeah think of which one would look good or not all right let's continue with light red okay so this is light red let's see if this is light because as we know that this is very pigmented okay 
so let's see white red here okay yeah should should I add more water to this okay it's really pigmented right okay there it is yeah light red but it doesn't look like light at all <laughs> okay next one we have here raw sienna Okay, there. Raw Sienna. Oops. Oh no. It seems like I got the same shade. Light red. Sorry. So this is light red. Let's try if we could combine this. Okay, there light red to make it like a huge swatch okay there you go okay let's go to raw sienna here okay there so now we see the friends okay next we have here burnt sienna and so these are the earthy colors nice I think this one is also good for making complexions also okay let's put it here near the light so that you can see there it's really nice so let's go to the yellows all right it has two yellows okay the first one we have is the lemon yellow. There you go. Lemon yellow. Next we have yellow. Okay, so there's lemon yellow and yellow. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is nice yellow and it's bright yellow I think it can be neon okay next we have yellow orange so this one is yellow orange there you go nice yellow orange for watercolor tubes that I have yellow and orange it's hard to get this kind of yellow orange for me i'm not sure with you but for me it's hard to get that kind of orange okay next we have orange so this is the real orange nice orange okay next we have here vermilion Okay, there is a, like a dark shade of orange here okay now we will go to the reds okay and we have here scarlet All right, nice like dark red orange here next we have here permanent red okay so we have here three yellow orange vermilion scarlet so we have here permanent red let's see if how red 
it is wow nice red but it's not that the bright red or yeah but it's good let's see if it how let's see if it dries okay next we have here permanent rose okay there wow this is really nice color especially if you're going to paint roses this is nice okay next we have rose matter wow very nice like mm, dark pink okay rose matter next we have crimson lake okay so now we going to have crimson lake okay so this is like pinkish violet okay let's see okay wow this is nice okay this is really nice okay i like painting flowers and i think i'm going to use more of these colors also the greens for the leaves okay next we have whole pink okay we're almost done this is the second to the last color in the pen set okay cold pink okay nice pink it's pink with purple and the last one we have is opera okay let's see wow this is really nice pink okay so I'll show you the swatches that we have. Okay, I'll close this. Okay, so we have it, some of it dry now. And let's see how it looks. So this is the gold. I added more water in this part earlier. That's why. Okay, these are the whites okay and i think most of it actually yeah most of it are opaque all right as we can see it touches it covers the black the, the black ink okay eve okay not sure with the black i cannot see it but not with the indigo here but most of it, yeah, most of it are opaque, especially in these parts. So they have like good shades of combination of copper, gold, and silver, and the whites here that looks actually good, I think. And we have good set of oranges as well, yellows. And pink it's actually a good set it has actually greens I like the greens because I like paint I like painting the leaves plants something like that okay there we just need to be careful with with the color it can at first if you were going to try it I tried it earlier without um, adding water or a little bit water but I tried it earlier not letting the water sit on it but it doesn't look good but once the water is sitting on the on your water palette on the water pan watercolor pans I mean then you could see how vibrant it is you just need to be careful with 
with the colors even on the light colors like yellow because it's really bright it's really bright and yeah I think it will I think this is really really good especially if we're going to paint like dark skies seas it really has this good watercolor combination in the pan set okay so by the way this pan set okay so this is how it looks like here it has this logo behind it it has a ring if you're going to bring it it's kind of heavy so if you have like small watercolor set if it's good but oh okay but I think this is also good if you're going to bring it you just need you can also insert your brush here at the center or here okay there you go and as I mentioned as I mentioned earlier that you do not need to have the watercolor mixing palette because you can actually mix your colors here and on this side as well all right for the price of these watercolor it is 40 colors pan set it is for the pesos for philippine pesos 2229 pesos to convert it to dollars if you are in the u.s it is 46 dollars and 79 cents it has 24 colors set as well that is 1299 in philippine pesos and that would be 26 dollars and 44 cents in u.s dollars for 12 colors it has for 12 colors it costs 759 pesos or in the u.s dollars it would be Fifteen dollars and forty-five cents. It it is the same with the twelve colors set that is in pastel. They have twelve colors in pastel colored in pastel, and they have also twelve colors in metallic pan set that is costs nine hundred nineteen pesos Philippine pesos or eighteen dollars and seventy if you are interested in getting the Mungyo watercolor pan set I will link the sellers shopping store in the description box the seller is actually very very accommodating he answers her questions right away he responds to my message to my messages right away so it's he's really he's a really good seller Okay, so this is the sample painting that we have of a rose and a short calligraphy of bloom with the Mongyo watercolor palette. I have also a sample of here the sunflower with a mix of yellows and oranges. So that's really, really vibrant color. My son also made sample paintings as well he had this gradient blue of the rolling blue and he also have this volcano sample painting all right so with mongyo there it is it's really really good i can say that if this is this watercolor palette is really nice when it comes to colors it's really really vibrant very little amount goes a long way all right so my son used these orange okay we thought that we that he is, he would be running out of orange when he was painting his volcanoes but no it's little goes a long way all right okay so i had these red here and I still have a lot I think I'm going to use these reds 
next time I will let it dry there all right so mm, I think this watercolor it this watercolor is really good because the vibe the colors are vibe very vibrant you don't have to just a little it will just a little of it it will be it will go a long way so there just a little of it will go a long way and I think this pal I don't know it depends how how many paints you're going to use with this palette because it depends because it will be depends on how many how much you will put in but I think this would be last long just half pan of it it's tiny it's small it's tiny half pan the half pan is actually small but then when looking into the vibrant of the colors of this well I can say that I can use this for a long time even for big paintings so that's it if you are interested to buy this watercolor palette I will post the link of this seller on the description box where I bought it and and that's it for today. I'll see you next time.